Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and I'm back with another tutorial. Now, I've done a tutorial on this character before, but you guys have asked for a newer one. She is one difficult person to draw in Disney, and it's Wendy Darling from Disney's Peter Pan. And I'm drawing with my blue color race pencil because I feel like it. First, what I'd like to do is go ahead and draw her head shape. So I'm going to round off the top just to represent where her hairline forehead is going to fall, the side of her face, give her a nice pointy chin, and then where her ear line is going to fall. Give my basic eye guideline. So her head's kind of turned to the side just a little bit, so that means I'm going to go ahead and divide where that her nose line is going to go. Roughly put where her eyes are going to go, so I'm going to say the bottom of her eye is going to go off to the side over here for her right eye, and then her other eye is actually built up off of her nose ridge, so I'm going to start in the corner of these two spots. That means I have to round out this way and make it pointy on the inside as opposed to this one out over here. It's going to be rounded and then pointed towards the right. right. Let's lightly get rid of a little bit of the guidelines. So let's start with this eye over here. Her pupil iris area is gonna go all the way to the corner and a bunch of white space over here. So it's gonna go all the way to the bottom and then her top eyelash line is very, very thick. So I'm gonna make this part thick Bring out an eyelash here, eyelash here, eyelash here. Very thick eyelashes on top. Let's go ahead and create this eyelash line over here. So it's going to be very thick starting from the corner, going up, and then the eyelashes go out this way. I'd like to go ahead and give her her pupil iris area. It's going to go all the way to the left. And then the bottom is actually going to curve inwards towards where her nose ridge is going to go. But I'm going to put a shine here, and I'm going to put a shine up in this corner, and then I'm going to build up her pupil around the shine, and I'm build up around the shine with this pupil on the right side. Bright blue eyes, and I'll just lightly color those in. After that, I'd really like to go ahead and give her her nose ridge, so I'm going to go a little bit above the left eye, where it lines into the eyelash line we made, and then it's going to go down, and we're going to go ahead and make another little slope here. It's not too complicated, it is just a little pointy nose. and it's just curved a little bit inward, and then we have the nostril. All right, we could probably get rid of some of these guidelines now that we have our nose. I'd like to go down just a little bit, and I'd start her lip line, the initial middle part of her lip line. We're gonna go up just a little bit, and then up this way. Now we're going to build up off of that top, this line. We're gonna start with the top line. We're gonna go up a little bit of a dip, in the middle and then it goes right back down into the line and it's a smile she does have that distinct lip line that goes down and then we're gonna go on the bottom lip bring it down over and then Alright, I'd like to go ahead and shape up her face just a little bit more before we do that. We have to place a couple of eyebrows because eyebrows are important. So I'm going to go right above the, the right eye first. Make a nice rounded eyebrow. After that eyebrow, I want to go, wait, 
before, I'd like to go ahead and fill it in. It's not too thick, it's not too skinny, it's just a little bit rounded in the front and then comes to a line at the bottom. And then above her eyelid right here, her eyebrow will go off to the side. Same level as the right eyebrow, but it's all the way above this eye and off to her forehead. Once we place her eyebrow on this side, I'm going to go ahead and bring down her forehead, bring it close to her left eye, and then I'm going to swoop it outwards to give her more of a rounded cheek, and then go down into that chin by curving outwards just a little bit, but keep the pointiness of the chin. So I just curve a little bit outwards. And then curve in. So I just, I started from the eyebrow, go in towards the eye, from the forehead, eye, go towards the eye, curve out that cheek, down into a pointed chin. I see I curve inwards here too, down to a pointed chin, and then come up and just curve it around. After that, I'd like to go ahead and bring up her forehead on top, bring it up. Go to that line we first initially made and bring it down. She has a very large forehead because she has those atrocious bangs. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't stand them. All right. So the part in her hair will start at the middle of her face. So that means let's start off on this side first where her bangs are going to swoop down above her left eyebrow. Here's one set of bangs. And they curve inwards. They go right back up. And then one is on the other side of that curve, and it'll go back up and curve inwards. So we have one going in, and then what I'm gonna do is on this side, this part of the bangs is gonna overlap this part, gonna overlap, curve, you want it to be on the same level, so if you need to draw a line to the bang level, then you need to do it. So it's going to go over this part, so that means this little piece will go away. So this part is going to go inwards, another curl, go up, and then a curl will be built up off of that, and go up. Let's start with so let's finish this side first. So we have these bangs, and I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna draw through her bangs just to keep it level. Draw through her bangs. Bring it out just a bit. So if we go in here, and I'm gonna bring out this part just a little. And then I'm going to start bringing it backwards. Stop. Then I'm going to come back to this part. And this part's going to go backwards and kind of dip down a lo low a little bit. And then it's going to cut off and you'll connect these two lines. And then this part's going to round down. All the way into her face because this is her overall updo, and it's also her overall ponytail. So it's huge. She has a huge hairstyle, but we're gonna piece it together to look a little bit more natural. We have one section being pulled back. We dip down, and we have another section being pulled back. So this curves inward and then out, and then we have her ear, because her hair is overlapping her ear. And her ear is very simple, it's just a backwards C, and we're just going to give a little bit of an indention right here. What I want to do is I want to go up with this section, so it's right in the middle of the back, bring up this section, and then it'll go down into the back of her neck, and shape it a little bit more. This part will be up. I'm going to go ahead, bring up this bow right here, build up a triangle, and then I'm going to jump back here, 
another triangle, and there's the other side of her bow. So that's right in the part is one side of the bow, and then over here is the other side. Go ahead and bring down one section of her curly ponytail, and all they are is they just look like glob, little blobs. There's no defin definition to them at all. Another one. This one's hiding behind here. And another one. And then I want to go ahead and bring down her neck from the back of her ponytail. Bring out her shoulder. Bring down this side of her neck. Bring out, go downwards. Go downwards from her neck, round it out, and round out her shoulders. And then I'm gonna go up with one shoulder over here. This will just go down into her chest, and then another shoulder over here. And this will actually, over off to the side, will start her arm. But I'm just going to stop there. You have one side of her neck just coming down to a straight line and rounding out towards her shoulder. Bring down this side of her neck and then this shoulder is going downwards and rounded out. If I were to fill in her hair, she would look a lot better. There is a easy way to draw Windy Darling from Disney's Peter Pan. Um, it, sh the thing about Wendy is she does have a large forehead and she has this crazy hairstyle. It's a hit and miss with the hairstyle and it's a hit and miss with her face because it is very difficult. It's very similar to Alice's face from Alice in Wonderland as well because they are practically the same character design because they're the same faces and everything else. I mean, they are very, very similar. Similar um, similar stories plus similar character design. But yes, guys, I hope this was helpful. She is a little hard to doodle. It, took, it still takes me many, many times to get her face right. It's one of them crazy ones. But yes, guys, have a most wonderful day. Bye!